Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video. We're doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So as always on a Friday, we've got your month ahead look ahead. And this is going to take us just beyond uh, Christmas actually today. So we're um, going to have a look at the JMA first of all. Then we'll have a look at the CFSV2. We'll compare the two and we'll see what they're both showing uh, for the next four weeks in terms of um, heights and also in terms of temperature and precipitation as well. So that's the first video uh, today, and the second video will be your regular week to 10 day video update with all of the usual features. Tonight we're going to have Terry Scholes' winter 2019-2024 guys. That's going to be a very, very interesting read, I can guarantee it. Very interesting read uh, at 7 o'clock tonight at GavsWeathers.com. So uh, Terry's forecast will be released 7 o'clock this evening. But starting us off today is uh, JMA Friday, as always on a Friday. So we're going to begin with the uh, JMA 500 millibar height anomalies from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So this, of course, is the uh, North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere and the Arctic just here. I mean, the latitudes uh, of the Northern Hemisphere are around there. And uh, the UK and Ireland actually just there. So red, at, uh, red, yellow and orange extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. It's a breakdown into week beer. So the first week beer will take us from the 29th of November through to the 6th of December. The coming week will be dominated by high pressure for a change. So we have above average heights sitting over and to the west of the country, below average heights are up to the north. It's a much more settled week coming up. Not particularly warm, though. The uh, flow around that high pressure is actually coming in from the north. The air around the high pressure coming in from the north. So it looks like it would be quite a cold, but also relatively settled week uh, ahead, with more in the way of high pressure. Drier conditions, yes, but uh, certainly quite cold, and particularly so at night with some quite hard overnight frost. But it is a respite from the rain. But as we go through to week two, look at this. We're back to square one. This is taking us from the 6th through to the 13th of December. And low pressure is back in business. Big time. We've got a deep trough of below average height sitting just to our north. We're bringing quite a strong jet stream off the Atlantic. The Azores high is pulled away from us. It is there to our south southwest. It's sort of pulled away from us. So this is not a particularly warm Atlantic flow. Actually, it's quite a cold or cool Atlantic flow. But more than temperature, the main thing is just low pressure driving back in from off the Atlantic, turning us very unsettled once again from the 6th through to the 13th of December. And then weeks three and four, taking us from the 13th to the 27th of December up to just beyond Christmas, still looking very unsettled. Low pressure continues to be sitting around Iceland, we continue to be bringing in these westerly winds, so it just continues to look really unsettled there, further bouts of uh, wet weather driving in from off the Atlantic, plenty of rainfall too, it's a two weekly anomaly, so there could be some transitional periods in there, you might get a few days of uh, higher pressure, drier conditions, but overall those two weeks look very unsettled with that low pressure centred around uh, Iceland. And not particularly warm either. Yes, we do have a ridge in the middle of the Atlantic, but it's not in a position to bring up particularly mild air from the central Atlantic. It's sort of pulled away from us a little bit um, to our west-southwest, which means that the air is probably driving in from sort of Canada, Greenland, across the North Atlantic. So it won't be particularly uh, mild with that. But again, the main thing is that it is very, very unsettled. This have a tropical mid-latitude uh, view is looking, and we can see temperature and precipitation anomalies with this as well. Uh, the North Pole and the Arctic and Scandinavia, so the normal latitudes off the chart uh, with this up here, but we can look at that view down so we know what's going on uh, to our north. The 500 millibar height anomaly for this week from the 29th of November to 6th of December places an area of above average heights over and just to our west. So it does look more anticyclonic however it's quite cold the temperature anomaly is forecast to be colder than average this week as it is through many central parts of europe a couple of weeks ago this was looking like a relatively mild start to december so this is quite a change i think on what's being forecast uh, a week or two back we now have quite a cold week coming up under high pressure and uh, certainly some quite hard overnight frost i would have thought 
It's also drier, though. That's the good news. So uh, precipitation anomalies are drier than average in the week ahead. A respite from the rain definitely uh, make the most of it because we go through into week two. Uh, low pressure is just driving in from off the Atlantic and it's a deep area of low pressure uh, as well. Temperature anomalies lift up a little bit, although it still looks cold and average for northern and western parts of the country. Close to average or a little bit above for England and Wales. It's not a particularly mild week anyway, but the main thing with this week is that it's turning more unsettled again. So rainfall anomalies are going above average once again here from the 6th to the 13th of December. We're back under the cosh of uh, low pressure and so the precipitation anomaly is back above average once again of a wet week there. And then into week three and four from the 13th through 27th of December going just beyond Christmas. Again, continues to look very unsettled. Low pressure is in the Atlantic and driving into Ireland and the British Isles as well. Our temperature anomaly is close to average, maybe a little bit above, although just to our west it does look relatively chilly in the North Atlantic, and it's another wet couple of weeks as well. As I say, there could be some transitions going on here. It could be that, that week three, for example, is sort of dominated by low pressure, and then week four, um, which would be over Christmas, goes to something a little bit higher with pressure. Something like that could be happening. But overall, for the two weeks, it looks very unsettled, I have to say, and uh, plenty of rain coming up there from the 13th to the 27th of December. Let's have a look and see how the CFS V2 compares. So again, these are 500 millibar heights break it down into week periods. The first week period will take us from the 29th of November to the 5th of December. And the coming week will have high pressure in control above average heights sitting over just the west of the country. It's not particularly warm. Uh, we'll be bringing in the winds uh, around that high pressure from a northerly direction. So quite cold underneath that ridge. And very cold actually for eastern and northeastern parts of Europe with this trough of low pressure bringing true Arctic air into uh, particularly the northeast of Europe. Baltic areas will be turning rather Baltic um, in the week ahead. We go through to week two which is the 6th to the 12th of December, and uh, in agreement, really, with what the JMA is showing, the above-average heights pulling away into the Atlantic, below average heights developing up to our north. Here come the westerlies, there, we're coming back. So, obviously, that's totally more unsettled, particularly for northern western areas, but I would assume all areas, really, are turning very unsettled there. Uh, week 3 looks really unsettled. This is the 13th to the 19th of December. Low pressure, average heights over and to the north country. Above average heights pulled out into the middle of the North Atlantic. So we're just back to square one there. Very unsettled. Not particularly warm either. The wind is going to be coming in from uh, the North Atlantic and from Green. The model will probably say mild than average, but that scenario is going to be um, pretty cool, I would have thought. And uh, But main thing, of course, is very unsettled. And then into week four, which is taking us from the 20th of December to Boxing Day, the 26th. Um, low pressure is still in control, so it remains very unsettled. We have got higher pressure building to our south and also to our southeast. So what this would do if it came off, it's four weeks away, remember, but if it came off, it would turn things a lot milder going up to Christmas as the winds would swing from that sort of polar maritime northwesterly, but having week three, to um, much more of a southwesterly type flow. So that would lift the temperatures up. But of course, with low pressure dominating, it would still, even then, be very unsettled with bouts of heavy rain continuing. Week 1 temperature anomaly from the 29th of November to 5th of December. And this is a change on what was being shown a couple of weeks ago, I think. It's colder than average and quite substantially so. For England and Wales, the anomaly is actually going down to 3 degrees below average in the week ahead with those blue colours showing up there. So just going to show how things can shift with these models. They are, particularly with temperatures, they are very much favouring warmer than average or milder than average temperatures all the time and they do have to be dragged very often kicking and screaming to anything colder uh and you make your own mind up about why that is the case of course uh it's not for me to say but it is very apparent that these long-range models are very much set up towards 
above average temperatures. And so we do see these changes, and this is one of them, uh, now looking much colder than average in the week ahead, from the 29th of November to the 5th of December. We're back to milder than average conditions, though, in week two. This is the 6th to the 12th of December, above average temperatures there. Week three is also above average with temperatures. That's the 13th, 19th of December. And then week four rounds it off, and that also is another mild and average week from the 20th to 26th of December. Precipitation-wise, we start off significantly dry up average into that area of high pressure from the 29th of November to the 5th of December. It's cold and dry with night frost. The high breaks down in week two, which is the 6th to the 12th of December, start going above average rainfall to the north and the west. All areas significantly wetter than average in week 3, 13th to the 19th December. That looks like a very, very wet week indeed. And this goes on into week 4, which also looks like a very wet week. This is 20th to the 26th of December. That also significantly above average with rainfall. If that's right, this will be a December to remember, but for all the wrong reasons, because it'll be a December to remember for copious amounts of rain and potentially Christmas floods. So let's hope not. Let's hope it's not as unsettled as that is showing. It does look a bit worrying, though. Uh, the week ahead, though, we have got a respite, so make the most of it. I think that is a message from Jeremy Friday today. Make the most of the colder, drier weather in the next week. Perhaps not particularly the cold weather, but make the most of the drier weather um, because it looks as though the further on we go into December, the more unsettled it's going to get. We could be unleashing the Atlantic on us once again as we get through into December as we have had through most of the autumn so far. Remember, it's just a snapshot, though, of what the models are showing. Uh, they are prone, as I explained, to um, drastic changes within short time frames, these long-range models. So it could all look very, very different next week. It's only a snapshot of what it's showing today. We'll be back later on with your week to 10-day video update. Um, and uh, that'll be with you later on this afternoon. Terry Scholes winter 2019-2020 forecast tonight at 7 o'clock. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.